Hi everyone. Uh, today we will solve uh, question number uh, one from the book Cargo Work for Mariners by Captain Errol Fernandez. Uh, this will be a new cargo work question for you. In case you have the book, you can uh, refer the book. In case you don't, then of course you can uh, refer to this video here. Having said that, this question will also make you understand the importance of broken storage and uh, the absence of it as well. So here you will understand uh, what is the difference in the amount of cargo you can load in the absence of broken storage and the absence of it. Alright, so in the absence and rather the presence of broken storage. Alright, so the question is how many tons of the following cargo would fit in a hold with dimensions 12 meter by 9 meter by 3.5 meter. So this 12 by 9 by 3.5 is the length, breadth multiplied by height of the cargo hold. You have to calculate how many tons you can load firstly without any broken storage and secondly with the broken storage as mentioned. So in the book you will see there are a number of cargoes mentioned. I have just mentioned four cargoes because uh, once you understand one or two uh, the rest you just have to follow the same procedures. So it doesn't make much difference uh, in making the video or rather it doesn't make sense to make the video very long and show you the same thing for each and every cargo. So the cargo uh, is copper ingots. You have the storage factor mentioned here and the broken storage mentioned here the other cargo you have is machinery space cases uh, rubber bales jute bales so on and so forth so there are about seven eight cargo there the storage factor is mentioned here and so is the broken storage so if you don't know what is storage factor storage factor is the volume occupied by a unit weight of the cargo so if you have a cargo hold here all right and you have a unit weight of the cargo so you have a singular unit of the cargo it could be a pallet it could be a drum it could be something else and this is the cargo so this volume that it occupies in the cargo hold this volume here by a unit weight is called the storage factor sf and what is broken storage broken storage is the space lost between two packages of the cargo so as soon as you load two unit weights of the cargo so the space that is lost between it is called broken storage naturally if you have broken storage you have to consider for the space lost and you will of course load lesser cargo in the presence of broken storage compared with the absence of broken storage so if there is no st broken storage you can of course load more cargo as you can see here right I am not leaving any space between the cargo so you can load more cargo here whereas here you are losing out space all right having said that let's start with the solution so how will you solve this question it's very simple very easy so in the solution firstly you have been given the dimensions of the cargo hold is 12 by 9 by 3.5 meter so you can straight away calculate the volume of the cargo hold by multiplying the length of the cargo, the breadth of the cargo hold and the height of the cargo hold. Somebody may call it depth of the cargo hold as well. So that will give you 378 metric cube. Metric cube is of course the unit of the cargo hold and it denotes that it is the volume of the cargo hold. So firstly you have to find out how much uh, copper ingots you can load without broken storage. So that would mean there is no broken storage. So how do you do that? So weight of the cargo hold will be equal to volume of the cargo hold so this is the weight of what copper ingots cargo that is the first cargo that was mentioned in the question so volume by storage factor so the storage factor is mentioned here copper ingots that is the storage factor so volume of the cargo hold divided by storage factor of copper ingots gives you the tons of cargo you can load the same cargo if you are loading with broken storage so not only 
uh, sorry nothing to do that so with broken storage when you are losing out space so common sense dictates that you will definitely load less of this cargo so how can you find out the weight of the copper ingots that you can load so again is uh, very similar to what you did before but in this case you will also consider the broken storage so you have the volume of cargo hold 378 volume of cargo hold right and then you have the storage factor but to the storage factor you have to add the broken storage or the percentage of broken storage so you here you can see in the question it mentions as eight percent for copper ingots so that would mean eight percent of what eight percent of the storage factor so we have eight by hundred multiplied by the storage factor so eight by hundred is what this is the broken storage so that will give you 378 divided by 0.3348 so if you add 0 0.31 plus 8 percent of 0 0.31 you will get 0 0.3348 and then you can load 1129 tons so you can see in comparison this is more because there is no broken storage and this will be lesser due to broken storage because you are losing out space now so of course you can load lesser cargo and that is cross check for you in case you are getting more value with broken storage you should ask yourself how is it possible so in each case you will see when you are loading cargo with broken storage it will be much lesser compared to or compared with when the, there is no broken storage so let's take the second cargo here which is machinery cases machinery cases has storage factor of 1.03 and broken storage of 13 percent 13 percent of the storage factor so in the second example and I, like i said it's the same thing I'm just showing you a couple of examples here otherwise it's the same procedure so when you are loading without broken storage and these are machinery cases right how much weight can you load volume of the cargo hold this is volume of cargo hold and divided by storage factor of machinery cases you have to take the storage factor of machinery cases here of course because that's the cargo we're talking about that will give you the weight of the machinery spaces you can load that's 367 tons and now if you are loading with broken storage when space is getting lost space is getting wasted so the weight of cargo you can load is volume of cargo hold again similar to the previous one volume of cargo hold divided by storage factor and to that you add broken storage so what is broken storage it is nothing but 13 percent of the storage factor 13 percent of the storage factor so 378 in this case 1.03 plus 13 percent of 1.03 will give you 1.1639 and in all is 324.77 again you can see compared to cargo that you can load with broken storage or without broken storage you have more cargo without broken storage all right so you can load more cargo without broken storage 367 is more than 324.77 and I take one last example just in case if you haven't understood it already you can see it's the same thing there's no point of me showing you all the case uh, examples uh, I hope that you will go ahead and solve the other examples as well so for rubber bales as well you do the same thing you have the storage factor and the broken storage mentioned here and you will go down here I don't have to explain it again without broken storage when you're calculating the weight of cargo put the volume of cargo hold divided by the storage factor of rubber cases or rubber bales was it rubber bales and you get 234.8 tons and with broken storage when you are losing out space in the cargo hold the weight to be calculated is volume of cargo hold divided by the storage factor and then the broken storage is added broken storage is nothing but a percentage of the storage factor and then you proceed to calculate the total cargo and again in this case you can see when you compare this to this here you can see that you can load more cargo without broken storage compared with cargo that you can load with broken storage which i told you is like a cross check so if you have the book and you're trying to solve the question you pretty much do the same thing for each and every cargo and find the answer it's a very straightforward simple question this is one of the basics of cargo work numericals which considers storage factor and broken storage uh, still if you have any doubts queries concerns comments feedback please feel free to mention it in the comment section of the video. I look forward to uh, improving my videos which helps with your learning. So always appreciate the feedback.